welcome to my vinyasa flow. Today we are going to start with some kayama. We're going to use our breath to ground ourselves again. There's a, a lot of collective energy around anxiety um, and worry at the moment, which is understandable. And the only way we can bring ourselves back to center is to breathe and bring ourselves back to our breath. And this is all we have in the moment. So we're going to really center ourselves for this practice and we're going to work through the breath. And I will try and guide you as much as I can in the flow of just following your breath and breathing deeply. So if you know your Ajayi breath, that there's that little bit of constriction at the back of the throat, I want you to do that in your practice. It's just a little bit as if you were misting up a mirror or cleaning your glasses. And it just creates a beautiful energy within the body. And it's super grounding, super calming. We're gonna start with our pranayama. So I want you to find yourself in a comfortable position, either half lotus or just seated easy cross leg. If you wanna grab a cushion for the moment and place it underneath me, please do so. And then your hands wherever feels comfortable. If you want to press one on your belly and one on your heart, then do that. Otherwise, just on your knees or maybe in your lap, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're going to start just by being aware. What sounds can you hear? Maybe there's birds outside. Maybe there's rain. Just notice the sound of my voice. And then bring your awareness in towards your body. Just bring the shoulders up towards the ears and roll the shoulder blades down the back. Relax your face. Notice where you're connecting to the ground and lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Making space in the diaphragm so we can inhale properly. And then bring your awareness to your breath. Notice how you are breathing in this moment before I've led you into a breathing practice or a pranayama practice. So is it feeling a little bit shallow and just towards the top of the chest or can you notice your belly moving in and out? Is your breath nice and deep? And we're going to start with a little four-way breathing. This is really, really calming to your body and super easy to practice anywhere. And all we're going to do is we're going to inhale for a count of four. We're going to hold that inhale for a count of four. We'll exhale for a count of four and hold the exhale. And I will just guide you through this. We're just going to do this maybe five or six times. And then we're coming to another type of pranayama where we're going to try and release a lot of the tension that is in our body. So take a nice big inhale, pull right into the top, and a nice gentle exhale. Let all the air go. Then we're going to inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Two more rounds. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three. Inhale, two, 
three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. And bring yourself back to your nice normal breath. Make a note of how you feel right in this moment. Then the next part now we're going to do is just a really beautiful releasing of energy. So you're going to do this inhale and exhale in short bursts, in and out through the nose. But I really want you to force the exhale. So as I do it, inhale and force the exhale, inhale and force the exhale. I'll show you exactly how this is done. So hands again can be on the knees. If you feel it needs to be on the belly, then do so. Notice what the belly is doing. If when you're inhaling, the belly is going in, change it. Your belly wants to expand as you're going as you're inhaling and it contract as you're exhaling. Okay, so that's how we do it. So just maybe put that hand on your belly just to make sure your belly is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. And let's start and just join the, doing this together when you're ready. shoulders a little bit more, relax the face a little bit more. Notice the warmth in your belly and the warmth that is spreading through your body as you connect it to your breath. If you're feeling anxious, this is a super good breath to do. It's just engaging your solar plexus, which is your seat of your anxiety. And it's using the breath to just dispel that anxious energy out of the body. Okay, and we're ready now, we're going to come into our flow. So we're going to come around and we're going to just start in a child's pose. So knees to the outside of the mat, big toes to touch, and just find yourself in a child's pose to begin with. So lengthening all the way up through the hands, bring the fingertips far forward, and sink the belly down between the thumbs, and take a moment, forehead on the mat. Start connecting to that Ujjayi breath, that a little bit of constriction at the back of the throat. Beautiful, start to lift the head, start to lift the chest up, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. And bring the knees underneath the hips as you come into a nice, easy tabletop. We're just warm up our wrists a little bit. So I want you to take your hands to the outside of the mat and the fingers are facing out. And we're just going to beautifully work into little circles here. So pressing into each of the fingers, just work around the body, through the shoulders, all that tension and holding the shoulders, which I'm going to try here for just a little bit. And I want you to work your breath as you do this. So inhaling. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. I'll go the other way, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bring yourself back, come into the regular tabletop pose, wrists underneath the shoulders, make sure you're nice and easily planted knees all the way the hips. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in and breath out. In. 
inhale, thread through. Exhale. And two more rounds. Inhale. And exhale. Come back into a nice, easy tabletop. You're going to tuck under your toes and just find yourself in a downward dog. So pressing the heels into the mat, pedaling through. Take some nice big inhale here. Lift the tailbone towards the sky, pull the belly button in towards the spine, and exhale as you roll the heels down towards the mat. Final lots of legs to press the palms in, rotate the triceps outwards, elbows in. Find that length. Find that steadiness. Beautiful, look to the top of your space and just nice and easy walk those feet to the top of the mat. Come into a beautiful ragdoll here, so take your feet hip distance apart and just bring the fingers to the elbows as allow your body to hang. here. Really connecting. How does it feel to just allow your body to relax just for a moment and let some of that tension go? We're going to come into a couple of modified sun salutations, so nice and easy through this practice. Nothing difficult, nothing hard, nothing to challenge you. I just want you to connect to the breath. So beautiful breath in as you sweep the hands up towards the ceiling. Connect the fingers, look up towards the thumbs, maybe take it back a little. Breath out as you sweep it all the way down. Inhale as you step the right leg towards the back of the mat. Back knee comes down. Your hands are going to stay on the mat. Lift the chest forward. This is a beautiful breath in. And breath out as you step that left foot back. Bring your knees down. Bring your chest and chin to the core. Breath in as you sweep up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open up the through the front line of the body. Exhale as you roll over your toes and come into your downward dog. We're really gonna work into the speed of the breath here. So we'll do the first one a little bit more slowly and then we're going to speed it up. Breath in as the right leg steps forward. Keep your hands off the mat, soften into this pose. Breath out as you step to the top of your mat, find your forward fold. Inhale as you sweep it all the way up, above your mountain, take it back. Breath out as you fold all the way down. Inhale as left leg steps back. Back knee comes down, open up through the chest. Breath out as you step it back. Knees come down, chest chin. Inhale as you find that cobra. Breath out as you find your down dog. Inhale as the left leg steps forward. Find that softness, open up through the chest. And breath out as you find your forward fold. Inhale as you sweep it all the way up. Find mountain, take a little bend if it feels good. Roll all the way back down to the mat. Breath in as your right leg steps back. Open up through the chest. Breath out as you step the foot back. Knees come down, chest, chin. Breath in as you scoop up through cobra. Breath out as you roll over your toes. Find your downward dog. Keep going, stay with the breath. Breath in as right leg step forward. Keep the hand on the mat, lift up through the chest. Breath out as you step to the top of your space, forward fold. Inhale as you sweep it up by mountain. Breath out as you take it all the way down, bow to your mat. Inhale as left leg steps back, keep the hands on the mat, open up through the front of the body. Breath out as that right leg steps back, knees come down. Chest chin, inhale as you find your cobra. Breath out as you roll over your toes and find your downward dog. Inhale as left leg steps forward. Find that crescent, keep the hands on the mat. Breath out as you step to the top of your space. And you find your forward fold. Last time, inhale as you sweep it all the way up. Breath out as you take it all the way down, bow to your mat. Inhale, right leg steps back, hands stay on the mat. Find that modified lunge. Breath out, left leg steps back, knees, chest, chin. Inhale as you find your cobra. Exhale as you roll over your toes. Find your down dog. Stay with the breath. Inhale, right leg steps forward. Hands step down. Find that modified lunge. Breath out as you find your forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. 
Take a little bend if it feels good. Palms come together. Breath out as you bow to your mat. Inhale, left leg steps back. Keep the hands on the mat. Find the bottom pose. Just using the breath and sinking into the body. Right leg steps back. Knees, chest, chin. Breath in as you find your cobra. Open up to the front line of the body. Breath out as you take it all the way back. Down the dog. Inhale, left leg step forward. Find that cobra. This time, breath out as you step it back. Down the dog. Give it a little pedal out. Notice how you're feeling. Breath in, right leg rises. Exhale as you drop the heel and open up the hip. You can stay here if you wish to. If it feels good and you feel like you want some more expansion, or exhale and drop the left elbow down towards the mat. Keep opening up to that right hip, feeling into the body. Stay with deep breaths, deep vagina breaths. Inhale as you lift back through that left arm. Send the right leg to the top of the ceiling. Breath up as you bring the right knee to the left elbow. Send the right foot back to the inside of the left as you cross over your feet and find this little modified downward dog. We're just going to take a moment here. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then you're going to tuck that right foot around and try and find some sort of version of eagle legs. And then as you do so, just rotate around onto the inside of that left foot and start to bring the right hand, left hand sorry, into the air as you find this little modified side plank. Breathe. And ravel that right leg. Take it down onto the floor and sink down onto the floor, bringing the hips down. You've got a bent left leg and you want a straight right leg. Inhale as you sweep your hips up towards the ceiling. Breath out as you bring the hips down. Inhale, sweep the hips up. Come into a kind of a wild thing. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Just use your breath. Breath out as the hips come down. One more time. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, you're going to bring yourself back up. Take the left hand back down onto the mat and swing yourself through and find yourself back in that downward dog. Pedal it out. Let's come on to the left side. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, drop the heel and open up the hip. If it feels good, bring that right elbow down and onto the mat. Keep opening up. Stay with the breath, stay with that dry breath. Inhale, lift through that hand. Exhale as you bring left knee over to that right elbow. Take that left foot to the back of the mat on the inside of the right as you find that little modified down dog. Inhale here and exhale. You're going to wrap it around, find that eagle position, rotate to the inside of the right foot and take that left right hand up towards the ceiling as you find this little pose here. It doesn't matter what it looks like. No one's watching. You're going to release that left leg. Send it down to the floor and lower the hips down onto the mat. Using your breath, breath in as you sweep the hips up, open through the front line of the body. Breath out as you take it down. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, take it down. Breath in, sweep it up. Open up, feel how good it feels. Exhale as you take it down. Last time, inhale, take the hips up. Exhale, bring the right hand down onto the mat and step the left foot back as you find yourself back in your downward dog. Take a moment to reconnect. Palms into the mat. Breath in, lift the tailbone towards the sky, pull the belly button in towards the spine. And breath out as you lower the heels down. I want you to do that again. Take a really big breath in. Lift the tailbone towards the ceiling, pull the belly button in towards the spine, press strongly into the hands. 
Exhale as you roll the heels down. Take a really deep exhale there. Just try and let some of the tension go. Let the neck be soft. Breath in as right leg rises. Exhale as you drop the heel and open up the hip. Again, option to stay on the hands or if that feels good. Come down onto the left elbow. Open up to the front line of the body a little bit more. Breathe. Beautiful. Inhale as you push up. Beautiful. Exhale as you bring your knee to your nose. And place that foot between the hands. Keep your left hand down. Right hand rises. Stay with that Ajayi breath. Hug the right leg in towards the side body. Press the left hand strong into the mat. Right fingers reaching up towards the ceiling. We're going to stay here a moment. And I want you to really just connect to the breath. That's all I'm asking. And you're going to step the right foot to the back of the mat and find your version of a side plank. If your knee needs to come down, then do so. Otherwise, stacking right foot on top of left foot. Lift the hips up towards the ceiling and send the hips very slightly forward. Breathe. These poses demand that you stay strong with your breath. Inhale as you start to lift that right leg and exhale as you step it beautifully back to the top of your mat. Inhale as our right hand rises and sweeps up again. Stay. Beautiful right hand is going to come down to the inside of the right foot. Rotate to the back foot so it is parallel to the back of the mat. So that left outside leg of the foot is parallel to the back of the mat. And send the hips forward and sweep that left hand into the air. So you find this modified extended side angle. Turn your gaze, maybe look at your thumb. Notice the belly. Expanding and contracting. Breath in as you start to lift up. Take that left hand around behind your back. Sweep your right palm over as you open up. Sink your hips. Stay with the breath. Big inhale, exhale as you take right elbow down onto the right knee. Take the left palm over. And then open up. Cactus arms. So really opening up this left shoulder. Five breaths. Feel the breath. Inhale, sweep it up. Take the left hand around behind the back again. Take the right palm over. Open up through that line of the body. Sink into the hips. And exhale, we're going to find Trikonasana. So straight into the right leg. Sweep the left hand up towards the ceiling. And take the right hand either down to the ankle. Or onto the inside here. And turn your gaze and look up at your thumb. Five breaths. Inhale as you sweep up. You're going to find a reverse here with a straight front leg. It's the same. Take the left hand around behind the back. Sweep the right palm over. Beautiful. Stretch it out. Find more space. And then take a little bend into this right leg as you're going to send yourself forward into a half moon. Keep the left hand around behind the back for the moment. Find this modified half moon. So flex the toes of that left foot. Open up through the left hip. And then super mindfully, we're going to start to bring that left hand around to the hot space and square the hips off. Right hand can stay on the mat for a moment. Find the square hips. And then I want you to bring the right hand to join the left as you find yourself in this warrior one. Breathe. Really connect to your breath. And then start to bring the left knee through as you find yourself in a one-legged mountain. 
Bring the knee in towards the chest, flex the toes, keep the hands at the heart. And we're going to find eagle here. So we're going to wrap our left leg over the right. See if you can tuck the toes around. Take a breath in and open up through the arms. And breath out as you rip eagle arms right over left. Find steadiness. Breathe. Lift the elbows up to shoulder height if you can. And we're going to start to unravel that left leg and then take it towards the back of the mat as you find yourself in a warrior one position. So back foot it is a 60 degree angle. Breath in as you lift the elbows up here. And breath out as you find yourself in a humble warrior. So right shoulder to the inside of the right knee here. Sink down. Beautiful chance to connect again to the breath. Beautiful breath in and ravel the hands, left hand come down, rotate back through that left foot, right hand raises. Reconnect back if you have found you lost your way. Beautiful right hand comes down onto the mat as you step the right foot back and find yourself back in that downward dog. And then out, wriggle through the hips. Notice how you feel. Beautiful, and then left leg rises. Nice big inhale, exhale as you drop the heel and open up through the hip. Bring that right elbow down if you can, open up through the front line of the body. Inhale, come back up onto that right hand. Exhale as you find knee to nose. Step the foot through between the hands, Right hand stays down, this time the left hand rises. Have your left thigh in towards the side body. Maybe turning to look up at your hand. These beautiful moments of stillness where we connect back to ourselves. Beautiful, left hand comes down to the inside of the left foot. Rotate through that back foot, that right foot, so it's parallel to the back of the mat. So press the hips forward here. Send the right hand into the air as you open up through the body. Maybe turning to look at the hand. Really feel that openness and all that tension. Desperately time to escape. Beautiful inhale as we sweep up. Take the right hand behind the back this time. Take the left palm over. Find that space. Big breaths here. Beautiful. Exhale. As you find extended side angle, left elbow to the left knee. Right palm comes over, sink into it. And then take that into a cactus arm. Open up. Feel that expansion. Breathe. Inhale as we start to lift up again, take the right hand behind the back, take the left palm over, sweep it back, find that extension. Exhale as you find chicken arm, so you see straighten through the left leg, bring the left hand down to the inside of that left ankle or onto the left ankle if you need to. Take the right hand into the air and then take a pause here. Breathe. Deep breaths all the way through this practice. Inhale as you reverse. So keeping the front leg straight this time. Take a right hand behind the back. Sweep that left palm over. You've got this. This time exhale, take a bend into the left leg. As you send all your energy forward, find your half moon here. So left hand coming down onto the floor. Keep the right hand behind your back for the moment. Open up through the right hip. Flex the toes of the right foot. 
Keeping that left hand on the floor, bring the right hand around towards the chest and start to square the hips. Then you can start to bring that left hand to join as you find your way through. And we take a little pause here, breathing, 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 breathing. Start to inhale, start to lift the right leg through, come into one legged mountain. From here, bring the knee in towards the chest, make the spine nice and tall, lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling. And then wrap those eagles. So right leg now coming over left. Beautiful. Inhale as you open up through the arms and make sure as you find eagle arms here. Wrap the left over the right. Elbows up to shoulder height. Pause. Breathe. Deep connection to the breath on this pose. Beautiful. Inhale as you start to release that right leg. And then exhale as you send that right foot towards the back of the mat, find your warrior one. A little bit of that 60 degree angle on that back leg. Inhale, lift the elbows up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you find yourself back in humble warrior, this time on the other side. Again, this deep connection to the breath on this pose. And I love the idea of humble warrior right now. So we're strong in our foundation and our belief, and yet we are surrendering to what is. We have no choice but to surrender what is right now, but we want to stay strong in the foundation of who we are. Beautiful. Inhale as you unravel the hands, rotate the right toes. Take the right hand onto the mat, the left hand towards the ceiling. Take a moment. Exhale, left hand comes down onto the mat and step the left foot back as you find yourself back in your downward dog. Big breaths. Beautiful. Look to the top of the space and start to walk the feet forwards and come back into your forward fold. Come into a halfway left. So breath in as you go through the hub and breath out as you really take it down and bow yourself to your mat. Breath in as you lift. And breath out as you take it down. One more time, breath in. And breath out. Beautiful breath in, find your halfway lift. Take your feet to the outside of the mat. Turn your toes out slightly if you need to, and heels in. Otherwise, feet parallel to the outside of the mat. And bring yourself down into a yogi skodmavasana. Bring your hands to your heart center. Really let your tailbone sink down. Bring the thumbs to the sternum. Lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Extending your hands out, see if you can lower yourself gently down onto your mat. Nice and easy. I want you to come into cow face, so I want you to tuck your right foot under. I'll turn around so you can see. Right foot is going to come under, and left leg is going to go over the top. Try and align your knees so you come into this lovely little pose here. Take a big breath in as you open up through your. Arms and exhale as you wrap into eagle, right coming over left. So your right leg is under, your right arm is over. Lift the elbows up to shoulder height and drop your cheeks into this space. Connect to your breath. One more inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Breath in as you open up your arms. 
Exhale as you take your hands down onto the mat, turn towards your left foot as you come into a short pyramid. Breathe in as you lift through your heart. Exhale as you take it down. Does not matter how far you fold. Breath in, lift through the heart. Breath out as you rotate towards the back of your left. Breath in as you lift your heart. Breath out as you rotate towards the other side. So now the other foot is folded. Breath in, through, lift through the heart and breath out. Come back down to seated as you should find yourself in with the opposite legs. If you don't, just rearrange yourself if that did not work for you. That's okay. So you find yourself with eagle on the other side this time. The other leg is over. So breath in as you open up through the arms. And breath out as you wrap the hands. Opposite way this time. Elbows up to shoulder height. Drop the cheeks into the space. Big breath in, big breath out. Breath in as you open up through your hands and take your hands down by your side. You're going to unravel your legs and take your feet to the corners of the mat. You're going to very gently lower your spine down onto the mat. You're going to take your left hand onto your heart and your right hand onto your belly. And we're going to come and end this practice with some more pranayama. Breath in as you breathe into your belly, just into your right hand. Start to expand the breath. Breathe into the chest, take it all the way to the top. Exhale, breathe out of the chest. And out of the belly. And again, breathe into the belly. Breathe into the chest. Breathe out of the chest. And breathe out of the belly. Inhale, breathe into the belly. Breathe into the chest. Take it to the top. Hold. Breathe in a little bit more. Fill the lungs just a little bit more. Breathe out of the chest and out of the belly. Two more times. Breathe into the belly. Breathe into the chest. Expand, expand. Take it more. Breathe in more. Hold it at the top. Exhale, breathe out of the chest. And exhale, breathe out of the belly. One more time. Breath in through the belly, breath into the chest, fill it up, take it further, more, inhale more, hold it at the top, and exhale, breathe out of the chest, and breathe out of the belly, soften the shoulders, soften the face. And right here, right in this moment, just connect back to your breath. Take a moment to be so, so grateful for your body. And so, so grateful for your breath. Know that right in this moment you are safe. You are loved. You are beautiful. Take as long as you need in that Shavasana. Keep that hand on the belly and that hand on your heart. Practice gratitude. 
practice breathing. Stay grounded and stay safe. Namaste.